Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and we are going to take a look at the shipping sector stock. Uh, the, the sector is heating up. Um, there's many stocks in play right now. We're going to look at uh, ticker symbols GLBS, SBLK, SALT, GNK, DSX, NM, ECEA, GSL, SHIP, DCIX, SINO, NMM, TOPS, MOEX, and ULTR. And I'm going to go from the uh, for the stocks that are running right now that have this good, good uptrend to stocks that are setting up. So let's look at G GLBS. We got a nice uh, move today above the middle Bollinger Band of the 50-day moving average on a volume spike. Um, uh, RSI and FASTO are in the bull zone. We are looking for this trend to continue as long as the middle Bollinger Band and 50-day moving average hold. Uh, there should be a run back up to November levels. Okay, now look at SBLK. Very strong uptrend today. Uh, notice how, how the candles have been riding EMA's 4 and 8 support higher. Notice the closes have been above EMA 4. As long as that trend continues, this chart will be very strong. When when candles are riding EMA 4, the, the signal is to continue riding. Okay, let's look at SALT. SALT also has a very strong uptrend. Notice the candles are once again riding e, EMA 4 support higher. Um, notice the breakout today. Congrats to everybody that caught the uh, the last video saying that, that it looked like SALT was setting up to or move higher. Um, check out the big volume spike today. Everything happened that we were looking for. We're looking for this uptrend to continue as long as the middle Bollinger Band support holds. Look at G and K. Very nice uptrend here. Check out how the candles are riding EMA4 support higher. What we want to see is a break above this November resistance level to signal more upside potential. Okay, the break above the 300-day simple moving average was the bull signal. Uh, the signal here, once again, is to continue riding as long as support is holding. Okay, DSX. Another good uptrend. This started back here when the middle Bollinger Band broke and the 300-day moving average. Notice how it, the candles went above the 300, came back, tested the 300 in the middle Bollinger Band, and then bounced off that level. Now we've got this good uptrend going. We want to see the candles continue riding EMA4 support higher. We want to see a break above this November 15 resistance. A close above that level should be the signal that it's going to break out higher. Okay, let's look at NM. Uh, this look at ticker symbol NM. Very similar setup to to DSX. You've got this uh, riding uh, uh, along the EMA4, trending sideways. You know these charts look very similar. Once again, we want to see a close above this November 15th close. That should be the signal it's ready to break out. This is once again another good uptrend. It's just uh, trending a little sideways, but when, when candles are forming above the middle Bollinger Band, that's your signal that that this that it's an uptrend and to continue riding. Okay, ECEA. Okay, this was heating up today. Um, you know we put. An alert in our chat that this was uh, setting up and then boom it was like magic all of a sudden popped and uh, now what we are looking for is a close above this middle Bollinger Band at 1.84 and what we want to see is a close above the 300 day simple moving average notice this close above there in December failed to turn that into support candles pulled back now the next close above the 300 day simple moving average should be the bull signal that it's ready to run higher once again we're looking for a run back to this November 15th resistance where we'd like to see a close above actually on this chart the the high close is going to be November 16th. So, you know, there, there's a good, as you can see, there's really good upside potential on all of these plays. Once again, okay, now this is the uh, setup that we're looking for is that uh, for these next plays are the tight Bollinger Bands. Look at the Bollinger Bands, how wide they were on the breakout, and then look how tight they've gotten. Now the candles are forming right in between the upper and lower Bollinger Band, and they're riding. Look how the, all these moving averages have converged at the same level. Look back here, they're all in this 160 to 170 range. Okay, so what we want to see is a, a, is a, a first a volume spike, because look at the volume. This to us right here looked like the load, like people are starting to take positions. And then we want to see a, a, a spike like this followed by a spike like this. The big spike is going to be your signal that's ready to go with the push through the upper Bollinger Band and through the 300 day simple moving average. When the 300 day simple moving average breaks, that should be the green light. Look at the FASTO, RSI, and the bull zone. Okay, another stock with very tight BBs. Look at SHIP. Same setup. Look how tight these Bollinger Bands are. This chart is wound tight. Okay, we're looking for a break above. Look at PSAR. These are these green green dots, parabolic star, stop and reverse. When those green dots drop below the candles, that's going to be a buy signal. We want to see a push through that upper Bollinger Band and a run to that 50-day moving average. Look at this gap here. Our guess is this gap gets filled. Okay, so let's look at the next one. Um, DCIX. Okay, check this out. It, it, it tried to turn the middle Bollinger Band into support. You know, pulled back. It's been trying and trying for days and days and days and days. Now look at the Bollinger Band. Super tight. And, and there's a close above the middle Bollinger Band today after trading below. We're thinking it turns into support and a new uptrend follows if this. Notice the, the high of days hitting the 
150 and the 100 day simple moving averages, we want to see a break above that. And once it gets above the 300, we're, we're looking at a possible gap fill from back here. Okay, a um, couple more charts here to look at. Let's look at the uh, uh, S-I-N-O. Okay, now look at this. Very, very, very tight Bollinger Bands. Look how tight those have gotten. So this, once again, is another play that's ready to go. We're looking for a break above the upper Bollinger Band. We want to see this 50-day simple moving average hold. This chart is setting up. All right, let's look at NMM, right? Tight Bollinger Bands. We're looking for a break above the 300-day simple moving average. This chart is setting up as well. Look at MACD down there. It's it's had a crossover. Okay, it's getting ready to go. Let's look at Tops. Tops has got very very tight Bollinger Bands here. We got this little volume spike back here. What we want to see is we want to see a close above the middle Bollinger Band. Notice there hasn't been a close above the middle Bollinger Band since it, it had broken until last Friday. That Friday close above on this little volume peak that that's telling us it's heating up. So we want we're looking for the next close above that level to signal that this is back in play. It's a very low volume play. We try to uh, avoid those until the volume shows up, but check it out back here in November. Big volume did show up. So, uh, you know, you can still do well with these thinly traded stocks. Just be careful. You don't want to get stuck. Now look at OMEX. This is a perfect example. Very low volume, but check out the run from 312 to 540. Okay, this is what these the, these low volume stocks can do, but man, this could be very difficult to trade. Um, if, if you like that type of play, this is our last one, ULTR. This could be a lot of play. Check out parabolic star coming down and hitting the top of the of the candle. We're looking for a close above the middle Bollinger Band to signal upside potential. You want to see a volume spike. Okay, so there you go. Those are the shipping sector stocks. Check us out at mychartcoach.com and YouTube channel at mychartcoach.com. There are more charts in the sector, but I think this is a good look at what is in play. Thank you.